When we talk about intelligence with humans, we're not talking about processing power. Right? We're talking about emotional intelligence, social intelligence. I mean, if you can be superhuman, would you not want to be superhuman? We do not have to be a victim to those circumstances that want to drown us. We get to choose, improvise, adapt, and overcome. Forget about the old China. This is the new China. If you have to deliver 600 million packages, either you do it with robots or you don't deliver the packages. Young data scientists that didn't care about rules, all they want are your history and your data in the hopes that it can predict the future. We're very bad at predicting. It's very, very difficult to think about what the ethics should be of things that barely exist. The only choice is we can maybe figure a way to do it better. Everything that we've done so far in the history of, of, of human race and human progress has this good side and the bad side. This last 50,000 years, there were actually three or more species on Earth, and we are the only ones left. We don't have to look at the industry. We have to look at what our users want. The more China wants to build a trustworthy society, the less the West trusts China. We kind of find ourselves in this very fascinating moment in technology. The biggest danger today is not that machines will take over and kill us. The biggest problem is that we become like the machines. We are the one species that wants to be better than we are. If you think of the term homo sapiens, it means wise person. So let's be right more of the time. We think we know everything. We really don't. Getting outside that comfort zone and growing as an individual, as a human being, and as a species is something that we need to come together and achieve.